Hi, I'm Jared Wojtovich, an automation engineer here with Minuteman Empire Automation Systems. Today, we're going to be going over a camera calibration for an Azrael I Plus solution. So, a couple things that you'll need is your Azrael calibration plate and some sort of measuring device. I have here a tape measure that has both metric and imperial units. So let's dive right into it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to remove our flat plate from our ASI cube itself. <clears throat> we're going to put our calibration plate in place of the flat plate or whatever vibratory plate you have for your system. We do have our laptop here plugged into the configuration port. Uh, again, the default IP address for that system is 192.168.1.50. So on my laptop here, I have the Azure iPlus software pulled up, and I do have all the required connections for my iPlus controller, cameras connected, and then I am connected to my laptop here. So under the configuration tab in the iPlus software, I'm going to go to vision because we want to perform a vision calibration. And then I have previously done a calibration, so I'm going to open the camera configuration wizard and essentially start a new process. So the great thing about the camera calibration process and really all the different steps in the iPlus Studio is they really give you a step-by-step -step understanding of what you need to do to perform the given tasks, whether that be a robot calibration, a camera calibration, or actually going through and setting up your recipe. They give you a great breakdown of what you need to do to be successful in these endeavors. So as you can see here, you know, I've already gone through, put my checker, checkerboard plate down, and now I'm going to go to set lighting. So it goes through and it asks you, okay, what, what kind of lighting do you want to use? Do you want to use your front light, your back light? If you don't have a front light, obviously you would uncheck in the software front light um, and vice versa for the back light. So in this configuration, I do have both. So I'm going to leave both on. So on the 6.3 megapixel resolution camera, it wants you to go through and set the aperture to 5.6. I believe we already have that set, so we are good to go. And now we wanna set the center position. So it's critical if you are doing a robot pick and place application that these crosshairs align with the fiducial on your plate. However, for the demonstration purposes of this video, um, it is not absolutely critical, so what we have here, I'm going to call good, good enough for the purposes of this demonstration. I went ahead and turned the backlight on so you can really see the contrast between the plate itself and the crosshairs. So again, just moving through these different steps. Uh, again, setting up the orientation as well, making sure that the cube itself is in the correct orientation. A good way that I like to do this is going in and doing kind of like a finger test to see which side of the cube the camera is actually oriented in and we want to make sure based off of the diagram on the screen here that our cables are on the left and i know that the cables are over here so as long as my finger comes in on the left i know we are good so we're in the correct orientation we're going to go to adjust focus and the great thing about the new iPlus studio is that it gives you a focus gauge so you'll see initially you know, I start off in this green band. When I turn the backlight on, it drops out of focus a little bit, but as the system adjusts, you can see we stay in that range. Now, if your camera is out of focus, you will want to go in and adjust your focus such that it becomes within that green band for optimal settings. So next, I'm gonna to go to measure working distance. So here's where my measuring device comes into play. I'm going to measure from the calibration plate to the front part of the lens. And we had 860 before. I'm just gonna go in and measure. And we're looking at about 860 again. So it's critical that you put that dimension in there. So we're gonna leave it at 860. And then we're gonna to go to perform vision calibration. Now the system knows inherently what the distance between each of those checkerboards is on the plate itself. So it's going to use that to get a pixel to millimeter ratio. So if I click start vision calibration, you'll see the system's gonna go through, take a couple images, do some image processing to really find that pattern on the plate. And if it's successful, we'll get some data feedback here. So it's not a long process, should be wrapped up here in just a second. And yep, we are finished. So now we actually go in and see our results. So what it does is it takes the before image, the after image, applies a correction, 
and we get an RMS error of 0.151 pixels and a pixel to millimeter ratio of 11 point roughly seven millimeters um, or pixels per millimeter. So that'll come in handy a little bit later, you know, especially when we do the recipe teaching as well as the cube to robot calibration. So this is how you go through and you do a camera to cube calibration. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, check the link in the description down below for more ads related content, as well as other content related to products that Minuteman Empire Automation System supports. Thank you.